back. He makes the white uh, black. He makes the truth wrong. He, ta he takes the wrong as truth and remains the truth as wrong. We can understand the ayah maybe in this way also. And even if we understand in this way, in that way, there is no difference because those people who will uh, be dragged on their face are those people who did not take the issues in the right way when they were living in, that, in this life. They didn't receive the truth as Allah gave them the ability to receive them. They didn't use their abilities in this way. And in another ayah, there is the same uh, comparison. Allah says, أَفَمَنْ يَأْتِي مُكِبًّا عَلَى وَجْهِهِ أَمَّنْ يَأْتِي آمِنًا خَيْرٌ أَمَّنْ يَأْتِي آمِنًا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Or maybe I read the ayah. Uh, anyway, let me uh, give the meaning. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, The one who comes that day and receives the, pen, receives the punishment and goes to the hellfire is more better or the one who comes at that day in a, in secure at that day and the angels deal with him in uh, peacefully and he wants to meet with his creator and the angels welcoming him. Salamun alaykum tiptum khalidin. Very, very beautiful way. They will come at that day and the angels will welcome them and they will they will be dealt in very they will be dealt kind, kindly and the other people look what will be happen to them. They will be dragged on their face into the fire. Which one is better? Make your choice. All this comparison comes from the ayat wants us to make our choice. It's not only wording to be read in some places. It's ayat and in through this ayat Allah warns His creature and the people before us have finished their lives. Now we are under test. Allah Azza wa Jalla tests us. We are in very critical period of time. Look what's what is before us. What waits us. It may be very good and it may be very very bad punishment. So the consequence will unfold according our choice. So Allah Azza wa Jalla in these ayats says us make your choice which one of them you want to be at that day. Take your decision. What you do what do you want? What do you want to receive at that day? Do you want to receive the truth in this life and obey your Creator and acknowledge that you are a slave of the Creator and uh, acknowledge oneness of the Creator or you live as you want without any fear of the Creator as if you are master of your life Make your choice. أَفَمَنْ يَتَّقِي بِوَشْهِهِ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ They will be rebuked 
in that day and it will be sad to them وَقِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ they will be sad Allah Azza wa Jalla in this ayah 24 mentioned about them who are they he described them they are the ظالمون they are the ظالمون they are the oppressors they are the ones who didn't take care of any limit in their life they did oppress themselves they did oppress their neighbors they oppressed the humanity they are the tyrannies they oppressed their creator through not by not acknowledge him this is very big zulm this is very big oppress yes the creature can oppress his creator how if he overlook him if he deny him this there is no big uh, zulm then this zulm this is very big oppress for the to the creator from his crea creatures if you do not acknowledge him if you deny him then you oppress him those who oppressed Allah Azza wa Jalla says do not feel any mercy towards them they are the oppressors when you see them at that punishment you will rejoice you will say it's very very good today the oppressors received what they deserved in this in the life everybody in this life I believe that felt some kind of feelness someday in his life maybe he saw an oppressor and he he uh, desired to see him one day that punishment about his uh, oppress that day the day of punishment the believers will rejoice about uh, the oppressors for that they received the punishment they deserve وَقِيلَ لِلظَّالِمِينَ so Allah Azza wa Jalla describing them if you do not want to be among those who receive that kind of punishment so be aware beware the dhulm beware the oppress wala tamilu fatamassakum wala wala tarkanu ila alladhina zalamu fatamassakum an-nar do, do not go close to those who are adhalimun oppressors if you do that if you are close to them then the punishment the fire will touch you automatically the fire punish punish uh, touch those uh, who close to the oppressors let alone the oppressors themselves the fires touches those who are close to them think about the oppressors what the hell what the fire how the fire deal with them so Allah Azza wa Jalla the Creator prohibited us from the dhulm we cannot oppress anyone Allah Azza wa Jalla made it haram between us you cannot oppress anyone without true real reason you cannot do anything to anyone if there is no true real reason you cannot do anything you cannot punish anyone you cannot torture anyone and you cannot oppress your creator by denying him by overlooking him you cannot do that oppress also you do not have that right so be aware the dhulm beware the dhulm because Allah Azza wa Jalla punishes them in a very cruel way وَقِيلَ لِلظَّالِمِينَ it will be sad to those 
who oppress ذوقوا taste I think it's an, in, uh, an, an ironic uh, expression ذوقوا taste taste the fire taste the torture ذوقوا taste ما كنتم تعملون ما كنتم تكسبون whatever you used to earn taste it now this is the consequence of your action Allah Azza wa Jal does not inflict any wrong upon you this is the reflection of your action this is the consequence of your action and Allah Azza wa Jal does not punish more than your action ذوقوا ما كنتم تكسبون what were what were you, you earn, what you used to earn. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, earn. It's better than saying ma ta'amaloon, what you used to do. Because earn, it means the action and the intention at the same time. You want to, to earn, to do that intentionally. Dhuqu ma kuntum taksibun. Taste what you used to earn. One day we were watching TV and my small girl we noticed someone at the TV torturing uh, a slave maybe or somebody at the film historic film and uh, at that point my small girl my small daughter felt mercy toward that person who is under punishment and said what a cruel uh, situation what a cruel man does this punishment and after uh, some while after a while we learned that that the one under punishment is a very cruel man he did many many uh, since many many wrong things in that film for example he uh, I do not remember exactly but maybe he uh, maybe he killed uh, some people or so, uh, some ch uh, childs at that point when, we, when he learned when she learned that he was a very cruel man. He felt uh, yeah. he felt peace about that uh, situation. She said, "Okay, that one, this person, deserved that punishment. This is the feelings of the just. This is the feelings of the just." And that day, when Allah Azza wa Jal punish he will punish the valimun the oppressors and they they are the ones who really desire that punishment أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته